where you are in school? Uh, my name is Efrem Rukumu. Uh, I'm a student in the Faculty of Agriculture in, in the fifth year. And in the VCP, I'm a member of VCP in the Income Generation Program. And right now, I'm, I'm like an advisor of the whole pro project because I'm the one who have been VCP for a longer time than the others. Um, why are you in RBCP? Uh, I'm in the VCP because I want to help out the people in the village. And it's a feeling I have had like, for a long time. It's kind of related to my, I think, my childhood. Since I was born and grew up in a poor neighborhood in a remote area in Kitaro. So, since my secondary school, I has I have had always the feeling that I have to use this knowledge I'm getting from school to help the people around me, around me, around how I'm in the village. And so when I got here at the university, so I found a perfect place to do it. I, mean, I found out that the VCP is doing kind of similar things, then just went for it. Um, how did you get involved in RBCP? Uh, it's 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 through friends. Uh, I remember I was at Santa Lucia and I was like playing chess with I think with Jack. Then then we saw the VCP members who were in the training over there, and there was Edmond. I knew Edmond before. Then then I asked him what is going on. And he said, Ah, oh, it's interesting things. It's about student involvement and community. So then I said, okay, can I come in inside? And I went inside and it was interesting. Then I just joined and it was in 2004. Um, what specific projects are you involved with? Uh, I'm involved basically with income, income generation because uh, I was in charge of setting it up because it was not existing before 2006. So before 2006, I was in malaria prevention. Then 2006, when they gave me the task to set up the income generation program, then I just stayed in the income project up to now. And what has been your most rewarding experience with RBCP so far? Uh, the most rewarding experience is that on my personal side, I have learned a lot. Like a lot in terms of you know working on my own, uh, working in a group, and also like self motivation in the work. And I have gained a lot of experience of you know like planning a program, setting it up, and make it work. And also I have you know gained more experience from other people. See how the other students from all over the world, they do the things. That was very good for me. And it's very useful for me because now I need it and it helps me to find a job and also to do other stuff. And the other rewarding things that I gained from this course was English. My whole background is like French speaking, so I didn't, I didn't know anything at all in English before I get to the university. And now I think I can understand people when they're talking in English. <laughs> so, yeah. And yeah. Um, one more. It's, um, what are your impressions of the Globe Med RBCP partnership? Where do you see it going in the future um, based on the work that we've done in this past month? Uh, so far, so good. It's, it's the, the starting, you know, it's, it has been not more than two years, I guess. Um, and it always like this, you know, from the starting, you just start by the baseline, the, the need assessment, to see what, if you want to make a long-term commitment, to see where you, what you will do. And that's good, that's what is being happening. But I think this is just, for me, I think this is just the first stage. 
I hope once it is done with this and know what each side must do, uh, I hope many things will happen with this partnership. But also, uh, maybe extend, you know, you know, not working only with the health clinic and do some, I mean, extend the partnership, extend the activity the VISP will be doing with government together. Thanks.